One of the things that interests me about the Spectrum Next was that it could run ZX81 programs. It has a ZX81 emulator by Paul Farrow built into it. So when the Next arrived I was interested to see how this would work and how seamless it was as some emulators can be a bit tricky to use. There are menu options for both the ZX81 and ZX80 off the main menu. Going into the ZX81 option you get the familiar flashing K cursor and are free to type in ZX81 basic programs. The next keyboard is a bit different to the ZX81 so you need to remember which keys give you which ZX81 keywords. But it's not too difficult and pretty soon you can type in the ZX81 program and run it. Uh, on booting the next there's an option for different cores and maybe a ZX81 core might be made. So if that happened you wouldn't need to use an emulator. If you want to run an existing ZX81 program you simply go to a .p file and run it and that starts the program in the emulator. There are a couple of ZX81 programs included in the next issue too, 3D Monster Maze and 3D Defender, but you can add your own to the SD card. So quite easily you can run programs like Mazogs and enjoy the best of the ZX81. Mazogs doesn't refresh the screen quite as crisply as I'd like it to, but it's still very playable. I covered some of the best ZX81 games, such as Mazogs, in a previous video, uh, so I'll look at some of the other games you can run in this video. So first, Puckman. It's a recognisable Pac-Man clone. It says it was the first on the ZX81. The graphics are what you'd expect from the ZX81 and the game plays on the lines of the original. It plays quite fast and the ghosts change speed and go even faster. But it's still just about playable. Fast speed might be due to running the next at 60Hz because my monitor looks better at this. Or maybe the emulator runs faster than the original ZX81. I'm not sure about that. The game did crash when my character got caught so maybe there's a bug. Then Froggy. Froggy is a recognisable Frogger clone and the graphics are pretty good in that ZX81 style. The gameplay works well enough for the game to be enjoyable, but occasionally I found myself doing a double hop accidentally into the path of vehicles on the road. The speed seems about right, I like this one. Crazy Con was one of my favourite games for the ZX81 and I had the original cassette for it which I, th which I think I still have somewhere. The graphics are well designed for the ZX81 and Kong does actually look like a gorilla. This is one that I'll be coming back to. I can get onto the second sheet now and then, and my next target is to get onto sheet 3. There are no obvious glitches with this game. Graffiti was released in 1989 by Carlo Delez, so it came after the main period for the ZX81. It's a pretty cool paint type game though, and quite original for the ZX81. Again, it plays a bit too fast, but it's still fun to have a go at. There's a lot of jazzy stuff going on in the borders, and you can alter the keys, which is always nice. Night Gunner, this was a game I had the original cassette for. I like the white and black colour scheme, but still try to figure out the keys for this one. I worked out the shoe key but struggling with the direction keys. Maybe I can find instructions for it on the web unless someone knows them. I'm not sure if I got hit there or if I hit something. Still working this game out. Orbiter. If you want to try something a bit more random, have a look through the ZX81 libraries and pick out something at random. You never know what you're going to get. So this game was all in Dutch, or was it maybe German? So I was none the wiser through the instructions, but when it got onto the game it had this cool spinning world graphic that I liked. Maybe it's worth translating the Dutch to figure out how to play. Also interesting that some high res graphics flashed in. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. And finally Pinball 2. It amazed me when I saw this that someone would try to make a pinball game for the ZX81. But they did. And though it plays a bit fast, it's fun trying to figure it out and have a go to it. Maybe it's an American game as it refers to Timex 1000. Does anybody know about that? So that's the ZX81 running on the next, an easy to use fun addition to the machine and maybe ZX80 fans would like to have a try at the ZX80 emulator. I've now swapped my Arcada 2 joystick for a recommended gamepad, the 8-bit do, due to a dodgy connection on the Arcada. If anyone's got suggestions how to fix this I'll be interested to hear how and let me know any more ZX81 games that are your favourites. Thanks for watching.